This is just a really quick video just to show the running of a Seiko EL370 movement, um, which is also what's well, known as a 3703 uh, by, by the original part number or reference number. So what these are is these are elect an electromechanical movement. So what you can see there is the coil, which is the copper thing that you got there. Uh, that generates a magnetic field and the uh, balance there has a magnet on it and they basically push each other apart and that's how you get it to move. Now all that's actually controlled by this circuit block here and uh, what's on that circuit block is that there's a few very basic electronics but um, long story short basically what it is is a transistor that switches on and off and as it switches on and off it turns the voltage to one side of the pole or the other which forces the uh, the balance back and forth. Now because it does this so quickly that's what makes it spin. So it really is a, a conquest of 1950s electronics of all things. Um, just a few other points on this here. Um, the bracket there is actually um, doesn't come on the movement so that's one of Seiko's original service parts for doing testing on these and that just keeps the battery in while you're working on it. Um, you can check the timing on these on a standard time grapher. They run at uh, 21600, I think, off the top of my head, beats per hour. Um, and you can also tune them just like a standard mechanical watch. So they just have the, uh, the, uh, the standard uh, timing adjustments there, and it's the same as anything. Now, if we just pull the crown, you'll see it stops the balance there. And if I can get it in the right position... There it is there. So you can see the uh, the magnet. I'll just pull this back a bit so it goes in focus. So you can see the magnet there. Um, that's the magnet that uh, pushes itself off the uh, off the coil. And uh, if we push that back in, that'll start up again. Um, like any sort of mechanical watch, again, it does take a, a few seconds just to get back up to maximum uh, maximum beat speed, which is fairly normal. Um, yeah, there's not too much more to say about these. That they're actually very similar to a mechanical watch, but they're not. So instead of the timing, uh, or instead of the power being supplied by a mainspring, which a normal mechanical watch would have, they just have the battery, which uh, powers it all through the uh, all through the uh, circuitry along there. So uh, yeah, interesting watch. Um, quite uncommon in general. Um, these are very short-lived, so really they're all sort of done and dusted by the uh, early to mid-70s when um, traditional quartz technology was just a lot better and a lot more reliable. Uh, these can tend to be quite touchy. Um, this one in particular, this movement's quite good. The only sort of causes, well, only sort of ways I can see it fail is that uh, you could get stuff in between the, uh, the magnets there which would stop it, which was what the point of failure on this one was um, but as soon as it was uh, cleaned out and serviced it was fine so there you have it that's just a really quick one on the EL370